Have you ever wondered how to grow long beans at home without much care? Welcome to the world of home gardening, where today we're focusing on the versatile and nutritious long beans. Long beans, also known as yard long beans, are a staple in many cuisines worldwide. They're packed with vitamins and minerals, and they're a great source of fiber too. But the best part, they're surprisingly easy to grow at home, even for the most novice gardeners. Imagine stepping into your garden and seeing these lush green vines, heavy with the weight of fresh long beans. Picture yourself harvesting them, knowing that they're free from harmful pesticides and that you've grown them yourself. And the best part is, you can achieve all of this with minimal effort and care. So if you've been looking for a low maintenance plant to add to your garden, long beans could be the perfect choice. So get ready to learn how to grow long beans at home with minimal care. The first step is to select the right variety of long beans for your climate. You see long beans, sometimes known as yard long beans, come in a range of varieties, each with its own unique characteristics and climate preferences. For instance, the red noodle variety thrives in warmer climates while the stickless wonder does well in cooler regions. It's crucial to choose a variety that suits your local weather conditions for the best results. Now let's talk about seeds. The quality of seeds is paramount. Fresh, disease-free seeds harvested from healthy plants will give you the best chance of a bountiful harvest. You can either purchase them from a reputable nursery or save them from a previous crop. Remember, good seeds are the foundation of a thriving garden. Once you have chosen the right type of long beans, it's time to prepare the soil. Good soil is the foundation of a healthy plant. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, literally. The soil you choose plays a vital role in the growth of your long beans. You'll need a well-draining soil rich in organic matter. This kind of soil not only holds sufficient moisture, but also allows excess water to drain away, preventing root rot. Now, how do you prepare it? Start by breaking up the soil to about a foot deep. Mix in some compost or aged manure to enrich it. This adds essential nutrients that support the growth of your beans. And let's not forget about the pH level. Beans prefer slightly acidic to neutral soil. That's around a pH of six to seven. You can use a soil pH tester to check this. If your soil is too acidic, add some garden lime. If it's too alkaline, add sulfur or composted leaves. With the soil ready, the next step is planting. Planting the seeds correctly can make a significant difference in their growth. It's more than just digging a hole and dropping in a seed. The depth at which you plant your seeds matters. For long beans, the ideal depth is about one inch. This ensures that the seed is not too close to the surface, where it could dry out, or too deep, where it may struggle to sprout. Now let's talk about spacing. Each seed should be planted about six to eight inches apart. This gives each plant enough room to grow without competing for nutrients or sunlight. And don't forget about watering. After you've planted your seeds, give them a good soak. This helps to settle the soil around the seeds and provides them with the moisture they need to start germinating. Remember, patience is key. It might take a week or two for the seeds to sprout, but the wait will be worth it. Once you have planted the seeds, it's time to wait for them to sprout. Caring for the sprouts is an essential step in growing long beans. Just like newborn babies, these sprouts need love and attention to grow into strong and healthy plants. The first thing to remember is the importance of watering. Imagine a sponge, not too dry, not too wet. That's the kind of moisture level you want for your soil. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can stunt the growth of your sprouts. A good rule of thumb is to water lightly but frequently, ensuring the soil stays consistently moist. Now let's talk about light. Sprouts crave sunlight. It's their food, after all. They need about six to eight hours of direct sunlight each day. If you're growing indoors, a sunny window will do just fine. If that's not possible, consider investing in a grow light. It's a small price to pay for a plentiful harvest of long beans. Temperature is another key factor. Long beans are tropical plants and they prefer warm conditions. Maintain a temperature range between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal growth. If it gets too cold, your sprouts might stop growing or even die. But what about problems? Well, every gardener faces them. Your sprouts might get attacked by pests or diseases. Aphids, for instance, love to feast on young sprouts. If you notice small green insects on your plants, wash them off with a mild soap solution. For diseases like root rot, prevention is the best cure. Keep the soil well-drained and avoid overwatering. Sometimes, 
despite your best efforts, a sprout might just not grow. Don't be disheartened. Gardening is a game of patience and persistence. Remember, every failure is a learning opportunity. Try to identify what went wrong and adjust your care routine accordingly. With proper care, your sprouts will soon grow into mature plants. And trust me, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing your tiny sprouts transform into flourishing plants ready to bear those long, delicious beans. So keep nurturing your sprouts and they'll reward you with a bountiful harvest. The best part of growing long beans at home is harvesting your own fresh produce. It's a delightful moment when you can finally pluck those tender pods knowing that they're the result of your green thumb. But how do you know when it's the perfect time to harvest and what's the best way to do it? Long beans, just like any other crop, have signs that tell us they're ready to be harvested. For long beans, timing is everything. Harvesting them at the right stage ensures the beans are at their peak flavor and texture. Generally, long beans are ready to be harvested about 50 to 60 days after planting. Look for pods that are full length but still smooth and slender. Once the beans inside start to bulge, the pod has passed its prime and the beans inside will be tough and woody. The best time to pick long beans is when they're about 14 to 18 inches long, a good size for most varieties. To harvest, simply hold the top of the pod and gently pull or twist it away from the vine. Be careful not to tug too hard or you might damage the plant. A sharp pair of garden shears can also be used to cleanly cut the beans from the vine. Remember, regular harvesting encourages the plant to produce more beans. So don't be shy to pick those beans once they're ready. Moreover, harvesting in the morning when temperatures are cooler will keep the beans crisp and fresh. And there you have it. Knowing when and how to harvest your long beans will ensure you get the most out of your plants. Be patient, be gentle, and you'll be rewarded with a bountiful harvest of delicious homegrown long beans. With these tips, you can enjoy fresh homegrown long beans without much care. Growing long beans at home is not only rewarding, but also easy. We've journeyed together from choosing the right variety of long beans to savoring the fresh, crisp produce right from our own backyards. It's been an enlightening ride, hasn't it? Let's take a quick tour back down memory lane. We started off by understanding the importance of choosing the right variety of long beans. Remember, the right variety is the one that best suits your climate and soil conditions. It's like finding a life partner. When you find the right one, things just seem to fall into place with minimal effort. Next, we ventured into preparing the soil. Just like how we need a solid foundation to build a house, our long beans need a well-prepared soil bed to thrive. A mix of fertile soil, compost, and a touch of sand for good drainage creates the perfect home for our long beans to grow. Planting the seeds came next in our journey. We learned that it's not about just tossing the seeds into the ground and hoping for the best. It's about planting them at the right depth, watering them adequately, and giving them plenty of sunlight. The right care at this stage sets the tone for healthy growth. Our little sprouts then needed our care and attention. We provided them with regular watering, protected them from pests, and gave them the support they needed to climb and grow. This stage is all about nurturing and watching our plants flourish. Finally, we reached the exciting stage of harvesting the beans. The moment we had all been waiting for, plucking off those ripe, juicy, long beans from our plants. The fruits of our labor, ready to be savored and enjoyed. So there you have it a step-by-step -step guide to growing long beans at home. It's a journey filled with small victories, a few challenges, but most importantly, the joy of growing your own food. So why wait? Start growing your own long beans today and enjoy the fruits of your labor.